Good afternoon and welcome to today's news brief. Dr. Salvador Belilti Aro, Director of Operations of Prime Lab Molecular, said in an exclusive interview with El Cabo Noticias that Laboratorio Prime Lab is supplying the authorized RT-PCR tests to diagnose COVID-19. He explained that these are not the quick tests, but rather the tests performed with throat and nasal swabs, which are the most reliable and authorized tests to diagnose COVID-19. Dr. Belilti said that this laboratory already has all the state authorizations to carry out these tests, in addition to having received notification from the Mexican Institute of Epidemiological Diagnosis and Reference, INDRE, to be able to start conducting these tests. The test has a cost of 5,900 pesos. The director of operations of Prime Lab said that the best time to apply the test is during the first seven days after the symptoms are detected or if you know you had contact with a person who tested positive for COVID-19. The lab is located in La Paz at Boulevard Cinco de Febrero, corner of Revolución and Madero, and you can make an appointment for a test by calling 612-165-4804. The Alianza Comunitaria para Baja California Sur, which is an initiative that brings the efforts of several foundations, business leaders, and state and local authorities working together to guarantee that no one in Baja California Sur goes without food during the contingency caused by the COVID-19 pandemic, is working this week to deliver around 4,000 basic food packages in the municipality of Los Cabos, thanks to donations in kind and cash. Julio Castillo Gomez, Executive President of the Los Cabos Business Coordinating Council, CCC for its acronym in Spanish, and who heads the Alianza in Los Cabos, explains that they are working in conjunction with chambers, associations, and also with the support of the government to guarantee the safe delivery of all the dispensas. Castillo said that it has taken several days to coordinate all efforts and deliver to the largest number possible of people who need help. In this sense, many businessmen have channeled their support through this alliance. For example, Solmar Foundation delivered more than 2,000 despensas. Pueblo Bonito is delivering more than 2,500 basic food packages. Canaco is also preparing more despensas, as well as companies like Mona Lisa Group, Urconza, and National Rent-A-Car, all of which have delivered several donations. As the days go by, the Alianza will be better organized and will be able to reach all the families that are in need of food donations. And for this, agreements will be signed between the civil society and municipal authorities in Los Cabos. Castillo expressed his gratitude for the positive response from the public, both for their help and for trusting that the support is being provided and will be consolidated as soon as possible. A formal agreement will be signed in the next couple of days between the Alianza and the Los Cabos City Council and Armida Castro, Los Cabos Mayor, to increase the support from the Alianza and the coordinated work of businessmen, civil society, schools, doctors, and organizations that have all acted and shown their willingness to help those in need. If you want to participate, help, or are in need of aid, visit the website www.acbcs dot org dot mx where you will get all the official information about the Alianza Comunitaria de Baja California Sur. Natural protected areas are closed and anyone entering these areas will be taken in front of a judge. The signs stating that natural protected areas are temporarily closed have been in place for several days now due to the sanitary and health state of emergency declared by the COVID-19 pandemic, which requires that everyone stays home. Some of the local areas that are temporarily closed are the San Jose Estuary, the Cabo San Lucas Arch at Land's End, Cabo Pulmo, and the Sierra de la Laguna. Anyone attempting to enter these areas will be taken in front of a civil court judge to receive a fine or a sentence, said Carlos Alberto López Montalvo, Municipal Director of Ecology and the Environment. Look for the Daily News Brief in English at our Facebook page, Cabo Mill News, Monday through Friday at 6 p.m. Cabo Mil Radio, siempre contigo.